Howdy folks, we are going to talk about cycling a bolt action rifle correctly from the shoulder. This is a Remington 700 chambered in 270. So when shooting a bolt action rifle, whether you're doing it in a self-defense against humans, uh, self-defense against animals, or just hunting, uh, if you're using it in a hunting application, being able to place follow-on shots is very critical. Being able to do that correctly and accurately. So doing that, um, you have to know how to shoulder the rifle correctly and reciprocate the bolt in a nice, smooth manner. Uh, so that way you're not working too hard to get your follow-on shots. So first off, I'll show the incorrect thing. And I see this happen a lot at, a, uh, at the shooting ranges. So if someone gets on target, bang, they touch the shot off. The rifle leaves their shoulder. They reciprocate the bolt. Then they come back like so. That may seem pretty harmless for a range application because you're just on a one-way range. You're not shooting at an animal. You're not shooting at somebody shooting back at you. The problem is, is that's creating a lot of bad habits. Number one, as you take the rifle off your shoulder, there's no guarantees you're going to put it back in the same exact spot, especially if you're moving around. Uh, one of the keys of shooting accurately is consistency. So if you're not being consistent, uh, you're going to open up your shot groups. The second thing is you're completely losing your sight picture. You have to reacquire your sight picture. That can be a little bit more difficult with an optic. If you have a scope that has a high magnification, but in an emergency situation you're shooting at something that's a little bit closer, it's very easy when you bring that scope back up, you're going to lose what you're shooting at. And there's probably been a few people that have experienced that uh, that's watching this video. So what you want to do is you want to keep the rifle shouldered. So the key behind that is being smooth okay you don't need to be fast fast comes with time first thing is where to mount it at on the shoulder you want it inboard you don't want it too far outboard if it's too far outboard the movement of your arm is going to cause the rifle to move around so suck that thing inboard close to the neck not too close where you're sitting on your center plate your center uh, breastbone here but suck it in nice and close so that way you can get a good sight picture or a good picture of your crosshairs Doing that keeps the rifle nice and steady. You can see the rifle barely moves around while I'm moving my arm. That's what you want. Another thing, support hand placement. Doing this is great for target shooting, for long range shooting, because you have good bone support. But if you're shooting more in an emergency type situation or you want to shoot fast, you want to get your hand out and get good control of the forearm of that gun. You can use that hand to push back in your shoulder a little bit because you're not going to have too much leverage with this hand. Your, this hand is going to be worried about trigger work and worried about uh, reciprocating the bolt. Doing this really keeps your side alignment. Okay. Uh, one thing to note while reciprocating the bolt, as a general rule, your neck, I see a lot of people do this. They have their head way far back. As a general rule, just like with AR-15s and semi-automatic rifles, you want to extend your neck a little bit, just like so. You always want to get your eye as close as possible to your rear sight, wherever that rear sight is. Uh, for a scope, you want to make sure you have the proper uh, eye relief on the scope. So take that into account as far as how you got your scope set up. But along with that, you can see I have a nice stable platform, just like so. But what I'm going to do is show you something here. You can see you have two objects trying to occupy the same space. So if I reciprocate this bolt, if I don't move my head, it's going to slam into my cheek, and that's bad news. So what I do is I can slightly raise my head. I can do that without breaking the good side alignment and the position I have on the rifle, just like so. I'll send the shot off, bang, my head comes up, just like so, and I'm still on target. The biggest thing about shooting a rifle from the shoulder is being smooth about it. You don't need to be fast. So remember, place that stock right into your shoulder. Keep it inboard. Don't get too far outboard. If you notice the rifle's moving around as you reciprocate the bolt, then you're out a little bit too far. Your support hand comes out. Nice, comfortable picture. Don't be afraid to raise your head a little bit to reciprocate the bolt. That'll be common on these long action rifles, 270s, 30 out sixes, uh, 300 magnums, and whatnot. They have these long actions just because of the length of the round. 
Um, 308s, 223, stuff like that have a shorter action, so you may not have to worry about it with them. Um, along with reciprocating the bolt, I'm going to show you something here. Now, I'm not really going to talk about uh, the different types of ways to reciprocate a bolt. That's a different uh, video. But with being smooth, as you get on target, place your shot, and as you reciprocate, you see how my hand does the same thing every time. This hand. That comes with practice and with habit. So really pay attention to how you reciprocate the bolt and where your hand rests afterwards. You want that to be consistent every single time. Uh, when you have enough practice, have enough repetitions, everything becomes consistent and you go from shooting stationary like so to shooting while you move, shooting while you track a target. This is very helpful when it comes to hunting. If you shoot an animal and it's a good shot, but for whatever reason that shot doesn't anchor the animal and the animal gets up and tries to run, uh, the humane thing is to try and anchor that animal and put that animal out of its misery. So it really helps being able to shoulder the rifle correctly and reciprocate that bolt and have consistency in everything you do to be able to follow that animal. So key points, good shoulder mount, good support hand placement, smooth reciprocation of the bolt, pay attention to where you place your cheek weld on the rifle and don't be afraid to lift up your cheek. And speed will come with time. Okay? So with that said, I'm going to stop talking. I don't want to be too long-winded. I'll just do a close-up of this rifle again. Let me know if this video has uh, helped anybody out. I know there's a lot of people that watch my channel that they know how to shoot and they don't need... Uh, any advice from me on how to shoot, that's for dang sure. But if there's somebody new, hopefully this helps out. Don't be afraid to shoot a bolt gun, uh, bolt gun and don't be afraid to try and learn how to work one. Uh, these things, they get overlooked these days because of the cool AR-15s and everything else out there. But these are damn effective firearms. So all right, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, please keep it safe.